daughter rose just like her rose as April dawns to May. Our only boy has mother's joy, his father's pride and say. She's not in her power Where the river flows past with its kind ways I have called her name At the ivy crowned tower On the sweet Danish Kyra That shadows her name They say that all the style about the street punk aesthetic that has gone right the way across the world. It's not just like blazers from the Sex Pistols. It's that real kind of working class second wave that has spread all around the world. And I think that's really important that you don't get that on BBC four documentaries about punk. You know, they're kind of people that are like, oh, I was like a punk for a week. And then I, I, I put some makeup on to do like new wave stuff. You know what I mean? They never, they forget about it as if it never happened. So that's why I think about punk music from the Midlands. Not really key. Um, basically, we're going to be doing in in January. We start the program of events in Union One. We're going to start with just an introduction to us as group. The next event we're doing is going to be called uh, Punk West Midlands. We're going to talk about how the Midlands is. So this is basically an introduction to that event. Like sustained musical history <coughs> over 50 years, <coughs> and we need to uh, celebrate it. And if we celebrate it, we loved it because. We didn't go with the establishment because they didn't like it. Yeah. It was it was <coughs> what they wanted. They didn't want it. With me. They they put bad publicity out on us, whatever. Just those venues then. Well, I mean it's always you know, it, there's a there's a saying or there's a thought, yeah, does proper music belong in museums or in archives because it should be always be a, a reaction. People. Well it should be a, a kick against what you see yeah, it the every day. I I think you know, these sorts of stories are really important. Same you say, these sorts of stories are really important. Way back in the 60s when I worked for Rowley at a restaurant called the Witsy Do in the town. He was known as one of the top butchers. He used to get the bands in called like the Applejacks. Their record was Tell Me When. Yeah. They're in the archives. However, at the same time they taught the Tremolos, all those shadows were all around. So they got that down a bit. One of the oldest venues for dancing and music, yeah. where Roy thing. was, that was terrible. the Mosey Road, Art Centre, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know because I used to take my mum there, I could never waltz, but I used to love to see my older brother waltz because he had to look after mum then, so I could go and play with the girls, whatever. That was, that was just... Yeah, um, I was going on a Friday night, yeah. and like you mentioned earlier, we had the audience session, mm -hmm. and that was... We closed for two, then Northern Star would be on all night. Wow. Then they'd have some ballroom dancing for Saturday. Then the North, the um, ordinary night club on the Saturday night. Come on, here we are at the edge, 
Shamu. Come all the way from the Black Wings, young Barry Blood. This is Mr. Velvet with a rock hair here. Let me say, Tipton, Spending, Aubrey. Thank you. 